Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This post is possibly going to be the most sweetest and cutest post that you have seen in a while. I'm giving you a heads up now. I really hope you enjoyed this story. If you do, please give it a like. Now on to the story. My son Jack is going to be too soon. His mom Annie has a complicated history about how this all happened. Her husband passed away and three months after that, we slept together. We were barely friends at the time, so I didn't know until after our first night together that she'd recently become a widow. But she told me she was really lonely and just enjoyed the physical connection. So for about 8 months, that's how it was. We didn't see each other too often. Then we found out she was pregnant. She wanted to go through the pregnancy and I fully supported her if that was what she wanted. The thing was, she still has a lot of grief and my son was born, it was hard for her to connect with him. She said she felt guilty about having a baby with another man after losing her husband. By the time Jack was 4 months, she hadn't gotten any better and her mental health was completely deteriorated. I took over with him full time after this since she wasn't in the best place to be a mother. Annie still visited a few days out of the week for a short period but I was doing most of the childcare while she went to therapy. Then she was in the hospital for a while. She couldn't come over much during COVID except for video chats, so she's essentially become a stranger to him. Three months ago, she started coming around more often after not seeing him for a while. She's on antidepressants and therapies helped her a lot. Now she's more set on being a mom and we're slowly reintroducing him to her. My sister hasn't been happy about this. I know she's upset on my behalf as I struggled a bit being a single parent. She knows about the situation and everything that happened with her, but still thinks that she shouldn't be allowed back into Jack's life after abandoning him. And yeah, I get her feelings, but since Annie's in a better place mentally, then I want to give a shot at Jack having a mother around. I still have my guard up obviously, and we're taking it one day at a time, but I see how different she is with him now. My sister hasn't stopped making comments no matter how many times I've told her to knock it off. She dropped by unannounced when Annie was here and was very openly hostile right in front of Jack. Annie offered to leave and then my sister jokes, make sure you come back this time. I told her to leave and not come back until she can act right with the mother of my child. My sister is offended that I'm quote unquote taking her side by kicking her out of my house since she's only angry on my behalf and it was a joke she made. That's why she thinks I'm an a-hole. For me, I was thinking I'd rather get her out as soon as possible before she says something in front of my son. Was I being the a-hole? There has been some new changes regarding the situation that happened before with my sister and Annie, so I decided to leave a little update. Many of you were right about my sister's negativity possibly affecting the relationship between Annie and Jack. It's also reassuring to know that we were making the right call here. The last thing I wanted was to make Annie feel bad for things that were out of her control. At first, when I talked to my sister, we got nowhere. I even brought up what some of you said. Would she have felt the same if Annie had been in a hospital getting treatment for cancer or some other physical disease or illness? My sister complained that that's not the same thing and we had a deeper conversation on why it's exactly the same thing. Annie was not in the right place mentally to be a fit parent and decided to get help. There was no need for her hostility towards Annie now that she's gotten the treatment she needs and we're taking the steps to bring her back into Jack's life. My sister and I still didn't see eye to eye, so that's when I made the decision that she wouldn't be allowed around us for a while and stuck with the same conditions I made in my original post. We didn't talk for almost two months. And then I guess my sister finally realized that I wasn't going to budge, so she agreed to be much more nicer to Annie and agreed to not talk badly about her in front of Jack. I thought this meant that things would turn around, but unfortunately, it didn't that way. Even after giving her a second chance, she still couldn't hold back from sending a message to Annie, letting her know that she's only doing this for me, but she will never be okay with her. She called her a terrible mother amongst other things. She was counting on Annie not showing me this since it would, quote unquote, cost her son his aunt, like it said in her message. Oh yeah, I was pissed. Another talk with her later, I decided she's not having any contact with us at all. As much as it pains me, 
I can't have that kind of negativity around my son and his mother. Their relationship has been rebuilding nicely, and this is a crucial time for all of us. We don't need extra drama. On a positive note, Jack has really warmed up to his mom and it's a beautiful sight to see. I'm happy Annie is getting somewhere with him and they seem to be getting closer every single day. So not all bad news, right? Thanks again Reddit for the help. You guys really eased my mind with this situation. At least I don't feel like an a-hole anymore for making the right choice. OP then went on another subreddit and posted this. We didn't start our relationship in the best way. She was looking for something physical to forget about losing her husband and it worked out great. She got pregnant about 8 months after we started seeing each other and then we agreed to work together as co-parents. Postpartum depression hit her very hard a few months after our son was born on top of all the grief she still hadn't fully processed and she had to be away for a while to get the help that she needed, especially when the lockdown happened. And for the past 8 months, she's been the best mom to our 2 year old boy. He loves her so much and I'm happy with the progress they've made and to see her in such a better headspace. All the effort she put in to get healthy mentally so she can be a mom for our son. It took me a few months to realize that I'm in love with her. I always wanted to be supportive throughout her struggles and to be there as a friend slash co-parent. She told me before that she's in love with me too. But for me, it didn't feel like the right time yet. Or I don't know, maybe I'm still scared to create a new change between us. She's been a wonderful full-time parent. The whole reason we wanted to wait on a relationship was so that our energies could be focused on rebuilding a relationship with our son, which has been going great. A few times, like Christmas Eve, we've had a few moments where we almost kissed, and we wanted to. Keep holding back to wait a little longer. It's starting to feel like torture. I love her very much and I'm eager for the day I can fully express that. OP then posted a few months later. After summarizing the situation between himself and his son's mother, he went on to say, We were never an official couple at any point during this, but there were growing feelings for a long time. Last time I posted here was met with some positive feedback and I decided to stop being afraid of things and to take the next step. Annie, my son's mom, admitted almost a year ago that she was in love with me. And for me, it didn't hit until months ago that I'm very much in love with her. With everything that happened, we still wanted to take things slowly for our son's sake. I still decided to ask her out on a coffee date, and it was a very sweet time. Then, in the car heading back to my place, we kissed. What's crazy is that we've kissed plenty of times before when we were only casually sleeping together, but this one felt like our first genuine kiss. She told me how much she loved me a few times, made my heart pound like crazy. It's been over a month since then and we've had several regular dates whenever we can leave our son with a sitter. It's still scary and new for us, so we're just trying to go at our own pace. She comes over every day to be with our son while I work late until evening so that the three of us can have dinner together. The relationship she's building with my son always warms my heart. She struggled so much to try to be his mom and to finally see them at a place where they are really bonding makes me very happy and love her even more, to be honest. So guys, what did you think about this? Honestly, when I first read it, I swear my heart melted. This was the most sweetest thing that I had read in a while. I wish OP and Annie and their son the best for the future. Honestly, why can't everyone's love story be like this? Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the story and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more stories from Reddit.